sometimes the Holy Quran speaks about the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the shin of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When it comes to these verses, it is absolutely unacceptable to take them literally from the human perspective, to be anthropomorphic about them, meaning to say that, oh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a hand and we know what a hand is. Obviously, that is completely unacceptable, complete kufr. However, the traditional approach of the scholars of Ahl Sunnah when it comes to these kind of verses was either tafweed, which you may translate as resignation, or ta'weed, which you may translate as interpretation. So some scholars would come to these kind of verses and they would obviously not take them literally from the human perspective, of course not, but they wouldn't really delve into them. Okay, they'll just essentially repeat what's in the verse and move on. Whereas other scholars had the approach of ta'weed, where they would provide an explanation. Now, some people in recent times have attacked this second approach, and they say it's not the way of the Salaf. This is completely wrong. Okay? We have narrations from Sahaba, from Tabi'een, where they took this kind of approach. And many scholars of Aqidah said, in many ways, this is better because it keeps people from misunderstanding the majesty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or comparing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to his creation. So one example of this is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about the shin, yawma yukshafu an saq, the day on which the shin will be revealed. Okay, Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala, and when it came to this particular verse, he spoke about this referring to uh, intensity and calamity. So Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas looked at this and inter provided an interpretation where Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, he just repeated what's in the Holy Quran. Both of these approaches are from the Salaf. Inshallah in coming weeks I will present more and more examples from the Salaf where they did interpret Quran and Hadith in this context.